Brought to you by JMR Rentals, professional digital cinema and broadcast equipment rentals in Brooklyn, New York. JMRNY.com. And now get 15% off your first rental when you use the promo code WEEKEND. Call 347-721-3400 or email info at jmrny.com for details. Judas and the Black Messiah. This was one of the most highly rated films of the year. It was nominated for Best Picture. Uh, it ultimately won for Daniel Kaluuya for Best Supporting Actor and for uh, the song Fight For You, original song. Essentially, the film takes place back in the 60s. It's about the head of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party, Fred Hampton, played by Kaluuya, and the government informant that's conscripted, Bill O'Neill, played by Lakeith Stanfield. He's recruited by an FBI agent played by Jesse Plemons to basically infiltrate the unit, find out what they're doing, and essentially turn them over. So the Judas is Bill O'Neill in this respect, so, someone who eventually was consumed by his own guilt over what he did. And then the Black Messiah being, being Fred Hampton, that's a title that FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover liked to apply to many leaders in the civil rights movement, um, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, basically any disruptive figure who was fighting for black rights at the time who could have enough of a following to coalesce around them. So this film is very much about Bill O'Neill's inner conflict as he gets closer to, to Hampton and kind of disabusing the stereotypical theories about the Black Panthers over the course of the, of the last several decades as, as them being like a paramilitary or a violent group. Like, yes, violence did happen, but that was not their core. The history of the Black Panthers is utterly fascinating. And this, this gives you a little bit of a, of a more dramatized insight into it that kind of also serves as a companion piece to Aaron Sorkin's film, The Trial of Chicago 7, which also involves Fred Hampton. Chiefly, this is very much about Bill O'Neill and Fred Hampton, and it's just outstanding. What I really loved about this film, uh, Shaka King directing it and then produced by ch himself, Charles D. King and Ryan Coogler, who produced Black Panther, the film is formatted like a passion play, which is just an amazing creative choice. Like you're calling this Judas and the Black Messiah. And for those that don't know, the Passion Play is the Stations of the Cross. It's, it's the story of Jesus's betrayal and execution. It's meant to show the good deeds of the Messiah, show his betrayal, and show how he essentially rises above it in death and can incite anger. Passion plays were created to incite anger, mostly against Jews, and that's a very sordid history, but here it's actually applied properly. In the age uh, that we're living in now of increased attention to racial justice, po police violence, um, all these different issues that have come to the fore, this is a microcosm of that presented in the classical way. We, it's very much about, in essence, the last years of Fred Hampton's life, the last months of Fred Hampton's life, because he was only 21 when he died, I think. Um, and, that, and that's like the one criticism I had. Like, there's no universe in which Daniel Kaluuya looks 21. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the guy to death. I'm, I'm so glad he won an Oscar because he deserved to forget out several years ago. And, and he's getting his due here. Lakeith Stanfield is also a tremendous actor, and, he, and he'll get his due eventually as well. Uh, Dominique Fishback also has a really strong supporting role. And, and again, Jesse Plemons basically started out as someone who could have passed for Matt Damon's stunt double, and now he's a tremendous leading actor in his own right who will be getting his accolades in due course, I hope. But yeah, like this is very much formatted like in the, in the same kind of ways, like the idea of the, of the conflict of heart, the, the uniting of peoples. Like, like we talked in the documentary, Dope as Death, about, about the Panthers and the Young Lords coming together. Fred Hampton used the Panthers to bring together several different groups in the in Chicago including poor whites who were honestly not very friendly towards black people I mean they consider the, the the confederacy their heritage but still bringing them together in common cause of taking care of each other taking care of their community and fighting against the real enemy of, of oppressive government that's the same kind of message that a passion play would deliver about Jesus bringing uniting the tribes of Israel or giving his sermons on the mound, all these types of things. There, there are quite a few sermons that Kaluuya delivers here. Honestly, I think, I think the, the, one, the one thing I have against his winning an Oscar was that it was for supporting actor when it should have been for lead. 
the fact that both he and Stanfield were nominated against each other for supporting actor rather than properly saying one's the lead, one's the support was kind of a kind of a cop out. But that's that's Academy politics. Can't do anything about it. But yeah, the the, the creative choice to frame this as a, a modern passion play not only works just from a production standpoint, like the, the way they actually frame shots and present the narrative, the, the production values behind it are just absolutely amazing. But again, to really hammer home that sentiment of how far people will go to silence uh, a dissenting voice, one that actually is trying to unite people for common good. That's a very resonant theme right now. And Shaka King executes it perfectly. The, the stuff that you're pointing out about it being framed like a passion play, how, uh, how prevalent is that? Is it obvious or is it something that you got because you're familiar with it and other people might not get it? Or was it ever heavy handed at times? It's not really heavy handed. Um, I, mean, I mean, it's heavy handed in the sense that it's a, a film about racial injustice, which by necessity has to be heavy handed because we live, we live in a world where people have to be slapped across the face with us at this point. But it, it was much more of a subtextual thing. Um, like, like I, know, I know the format, I've seen it many times. And as I'm watching, it's like, holy crap, this is a passion play. It's like, it's very much not like this is the passion of the Hampton. It's like, you know, th this is very much a, a story that's presented in that format if you know to look for it there. It sounds like a strong recommendation for you. Easily, like, like a solid A. 